Hey guys, I'm Jeff Martinez from the Track Shack. And I'm Alex Marl, Resolute Running. Jeff, we have a special guest today. This is Coach Gerald Johnson, yeah. who's joining us. I got it. Coach Johnson is the newest coach here at Resolute Running. We're excited to have him. Uh, in addition to being a run coach, our RCA and USATF, uh, he's also a personal trainer and he's a TRX qualified instructor as well. You know, and we've done a couple segments and you're always the guinea pig and I love this because he's always the guinea pig. Um, in the past, we talked about the importance of the core and you know the plank being the pivotal exercise for runners. Well, with TRX, there's a certain exercise that is amazing for runners and it makes you almost bulletproof. And Coach Gerald Johnson is gonna actually teach this to you. Well, so talk to me about what are we doing today? Today we're gonna do the TRX suspended lunge. That's the exercise for today. So it's, um, it's a one-legged exercise that's gonna put you in some precarious positions, <laughs> but I'm sure you'll be fine. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I don't want to hold it up because people want to see you doing the splits. Oh, yeah. So, all right, go get it, guys. Let's all go right, to the Jeff. All right. all right, Jeff, as we talked about, we're about to have some fun. We're about to do the TRX suspended lunge. One thing I want you to remember, Jeff, anything you're doing with the TRX form is our most important thing. So first thing we're going to do is want to get you set up properly. So okay. stand beside the TRX for me. Okay. All right, make sure it's lined up properly. You want to make sure the uh, straps are adjusted to mid calf. So, okay. Uh, Handles will be right below your knee. Okay. All right, you're gonna put one foot in, both straps. All right, good. I want you to hop out about two, three steps for me, Jeff. This is about to get real exciting. All right, about this um, TRX suspended lunge, I want you to think elevator, not escalator. So when you go down, I want to make sure you go down on that front knee. It does not protrude uh, past your front foot. Okay. I want you to keep that plank. I want you to keep your shoulders up high, and I want you to go down into a lunge, okay? Now, the first thing I want you to do is put both hands down, Jeff. As you go down, this is the first progression. You want to flex that foot towards your knee. The second one is go down, as we progress, go down and just put one hand down, Jeff. Okay. All right, good. Remember to bring that foot forward towards your knee. And the last one, as you get advanced and as you're feeling stronger, I want you to try it with no hands, Jeff. Good job. Great, great. Now we're going to make a few modifications to that. As you know, you're an ex-athlete or college athlete, you ran college track, you ran at UAB, and I know you're a pro at this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a saw with it. So as you go down, keeping that torso up high, mm -hmm. keeping that plank, driving down, straight down, good. Rock back in a saw for me. Great. Add another modification to it, Jeff. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add that saw, but we're going to come up with a knee drive. So as you keep that torso high, keep dorsal flex that back foot towards that knee, go down, and you're going to do a saw. As you come back up, we're gonna add a knee drive to it. And the last modification we're gonna to make to this, Jeff, as you go down in your suspended lunge, keeping that foot dorsiflex, going straight down, you're gonna saw back, good. Come up with a hop. Great job, Jeff. Show off my hop. Great job. <laughs> Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Appreciate you, Jeff. Yeah, uh, well. What do you think about it? Well, it's, it, it, I like the exaggerated running form part of it. Uh -huh. You know, where you can tell with the knee drive, you're really working on your hip flexors. I've had a hip flexor issue for, for quite some time now, so I know that that would really help stretching it out right. and help strengthening it. So, And then lunges just help strengthen your quad. It's so, uh, so important with knee health and that sort of thing. So I think it, you know, I, I can see how that works both ways. So, right. um, and, you know, and I've done these TRX classes before and when you're working on your core right. and your strength, man, it's so huge for runners. And when you're doing that exaggerated run form thing, it works really well. So you're a little windy, huh? I'm, I'm worn out, man. I'm really worn out. <laughs> yeah, and what I like about it also, it helps you with your stability and it helps you with your balance because you're single leg. That means you have one leg up and you have no choice but to use your core to stabilize and to help you balance also. Yeah. And that's great for runners because you need your stability and your balance to make sure your running form stays in order. Yeah. Doing well, your long runs and when you get tired during your run. Well, and if you if you need gel to wear you out, man, look at ResoluteRunning.com. All the coaches here, they run these TRX classes and they're awesome, man. They're great for runners to help keep you healthy. All right. Thanks, thanks for joining Jeff. us this week, man. All thanks, right. Thank man. you. We'll see you next time.